electricity on all the barges constant, binding numbers of atoms or ions in moles of compounds. So Avogadro, uh, this is the handsome Amadeo Avogadro. He did not actually figure out Avogadro's number. We just named it after him. Some scientists who were working shortly after his death predicted what this number is. And we're basically saying that if I have uh, 12 grams of carbon-12, then I must have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of atoms of carbon-12. So, so if I if I convert from AMUs, atomic mass units on the periodic table, to grams, I can keep the same number when I convert from AMUs to grams if I use 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So that's why the mole number is the mole number, so that we can keep the same mass on the periodic table for AMUs and grams. Um, interestingly, there's quite a few more than these sig figs, so it goes on for quite some time. Um, luckily for IB, we just have to know 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. How do we use this? Well, sometimes we might be asked conceptually about Avogadro's constant. Is it the number of ions in 12 grams of sodium hydride? To figure that out, we need to know what's the molar mass of sodium hydride. So sodium is about a 23, hydrogen is about a 21. That makes 24 grams per mole. So if I have 12 grams of it, and it's 24 grams per mole, then I have half a mole. But when this guy dissociates into its ions, we're going to have half a mole of Na pluses and also half a mole of H minuses which means that all totaled up, we have a mole, or 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd ions. This is a yes. Is it the number of molecules in 22.4 cubic decimeters of hydrogen gas at zero degrees Celsius in one atmosphere? You're probably thinking, oh no, it's 22.7 cubic decimeters. Actually, 22.7 cubic decimeters at zero degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascals. One atmosphere is actually 101.3 kilopascal, and so this is correct also. Um, several years ago, I don't know, a decade ago, I think, um, the IUPAC, the International Union of Physical and Applied Chemists, changed what STP was. It used to be this. This used to be STP. So this is our molar volume. They updated it. It's now, instead of 101, Kilopascals are in atmosphere, it's 100 kilopascals. 22.7 is better. This is an old question. You won't see this. Don't worry about that number. Um, is it the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon-12? Yes. Yes, it is. So our answer here is D. But again, Roman numeral 2 is probably kind of weird. It's a number that you don't know. All right. So sometimes we would see questions like this on the IB exam. Total number of nitrogen atoms in 2 moles of this ammonium nitrate. So I'm going to take my two moles of ammonium nitrate. My first step is going to be to figure out how many nitrogen atoms are there in each molecule, formula unit of ammonium nitrate. I've got one, two. So there are two N's in every one ammonium nitrate. Now I need to convert my moles of nitrogen to atoms of nitrogen. So now I'm going to multiply by Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in one mole. So I canceled out ammonium nitrate and I canceled out moles. I'm left with atoms of nitrogen. So when I do this math, I get 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 6 is like 24. This is about as close to 24 as I'm going to get. Of course, 10 to 23 to 24, we end up with a slightly larger exponent. I'm doing this math in my head instead of my calculator because paper one, there's no calculator allowed, my friends. So, so as much as you can, try to practice some of this uh, in your head estimation. All right, so now let's say that we have two moles of hydrated sodium carbonate, and I'm trying to figure out how many atoms of oxygen there are. So I've got two moles of hydrated sodium carbonate. My first step, I'm going to try to figure out how many atoms of oxygen in each one unit of this. 
it might be tempting to go, oh, there's one, two, three, four. Be careful, my friends, there's actually 10 times one, 10 times one oxygens in the water and then three in that sodium carbonate. So I actually have 13 oxygen atoms in every one hydrated unit of sodium carbonate. So now I have moles of oxygen. I want to turn those into atoms of oxygen. We have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in one mole. And so I have managed to cancel out moles here and here. And of course, I canceled out hydrated sodium carbonate there and there. So now I'm going to do 2 times 13, that's 26. 26 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Uh, this is like 52-ish. But since I have a tens place, it's going to be 10 to the 24. And so... I did something wrong. Hold on. 26 times 6. I did 26 times 2. I don't know where that 2 came from. 26 times 6 is going to be 36 carry 3, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my gosh. 156 times 10 to the 23, which is going to be 1.56 times 10 to the 20. We moved our decimal place 2 times 25. Sorry about that math. Uh, I don't know, somehow I multiplied by 2 instead of 6. All right, uh, let's see if I can get my math back on track here. So how many moles of oxygen atoms? I don't need to go all the way to atoms. I just need how many moles of oxygen atoms. Half a mole of hydrated iron to ammonium sulfate. Oh my gosh, that's ginormous. We're going to do this the same way. I'm just going to skip my last step. So I've got half a mole of NH4. 2FeSO4, 2,6H2Os. I need to figure out how many oxygens in each one unit of this. So I've got 6 here, and I've got 2 times 4, 8 there. So there are 18 oxygen atoms. Whoa, 14 oxygen atoms in every one unit of ammonium, two iron sulfate, hexahydrate. Um, so I can cancel out ammonium, iron, two ammonium, sulfate, hexahydrate. And all I have to do is multiply my 0 0.5 by 14. Half of 14 is seven. There are about seven moles. If it had asked for atoms instead of moles, then I would take that 7 and I would multiply it by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Since it did not ask for atoms, I don't need to do that. I'm just going to stop here at moles. All right. Um, one more, and then we're going to call this done. So let's say that I have one mole of hydrogen gas. And I want to figure out the number of protons and electrons. So remember that hydrogen is one proton and one electron. So each hydrogen atom is going to have one proton and one electron. But I've got hydrogen gas, and hydrogen gas is diatomic. And so I don't just have one hydrogen, I actually have two hydrogen atoms in each molecule of hydrogen gas another proton and a mole of their electron. So all together, I have one, two, three, four, two protons, two electrons, four protons and electrons in every one hydrogen gas molecule. I want to go to number, not moles, but numbers. So now I'm going to multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, ions, particles um, in one mole of particles. So I can cancel out my hydrogen gas, cancel out moles. I have my protons and electrons in a mole of hydrogen gas. 1 times 4 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd divided by 1 divided by 1. 4 times 6 is about 24. 
times 10 to the 23rd, since this has a tens place, I need to convert to 2.4 times 10 to the, my 23 is going to turn into a 24, and this is my answer.